Hello everybody, today I have to share with you A Home Under the Stars by Andy Chu Muser. Toby did not want to move to the city. He missed his old home. He missed climbing trees, taking quiet walks, and playing hide and seek in the garden. Most of all, Toby missed seeing the stars before bedtime. He searched the night sky for the North Star, but he couldn't see any stars in the city. His parents tried to help. Let's make our own stars. No, shouted Toby. It's not the same. Without the stars, Toby couldn't sleep. From inside his closet, a voice growled. I can't sleep either. Oh, Toby ex exclaimed, a lion. I need to find the North Star, the lion said. I'm lost without it to guide me home. Don't be sad, said Toby. I'll help you. The stars must be here somewhere, Toby said. Together, they searched for the North Star. Do you hear all that noise? asked the lion. Someone was crying. What's wrong? asked Toby. I'm lost, said the unicorn, and the city makes me feel small. Come with us, Toby said. We're looking for the North Star, the lion added. It can show you the way home. As they searched the city, they found more lost animals. I can't remember what home looks like anymore, said the hare. I miss my friends, said the ram. The city is so noisy, said the eagle. It scares me. Everything is different here, said the giraffe. Nothing feels right. Let's look for the North Star together, said Toby. It will guide you all home. But after searching all night, the lion became tired. We've looked everywhere, the lion said. What if we never find the North Star? Please don't give up, said Toby. I can't do this alone. Suddenly, all the sounds of the city stopped. A deep rumble echoed down the streets. Hello, Toby called. Is someone there? A dragon lurched out of the shadows and roared. The city shook. Toby froze. And then he saw something shimmer. Wait, he shouted. A broken star was blocking the dragon's throat. Let me help you, Toby said. Thank you, the dragon bellowed. As stars shot into the sky, everyone cheered. You found the North Star. Toby joined them as they followed the star all the way home.
Toby looked out at the stars and his eyes grew heavy. If I go home, will I still be able to see you? He asked. You may not be able to see us, said the lion, but we'll always be here for you. That night, under the light of Toby's stars, The city changed. The end. I hope you all enjoyed that new story and I'll see you again soon for another one.